Nice night here in New York City. The holiday season is upon us. And a sold-out MSG here for Game 2. People have been getting off the train at Penn Station left and right in the last couple of hours and coming into the Garden to see the first game, which was a doozy. It should impact the effectiveness of the Huskies. Yeah, his middle two fingers on his right hand are taped together, and that certainly can't help. Got to watch Spencer. He could really shoot. A grad transfer from Rutgers. Caravan into the paint. No. Tips it out. Spencer wide open. Count it. Spencer picked up his dribble. Carolina's pressure and switching has been good so far. Klingon. Back door. Caravan. Spencer gets the shot off and knocks it down. Soft touch. As soon as he grabs the rebound, he can take it the other way. Baycott trying to reverse again, and the 7-2 Klingon got the best of it. Great recovery by Donovan Klingon. Up top for Klingon, and he lays it in to the court. Uh, what's impressive is the recovery defensively. Baycott spins around him, but still he's able to block that shot with the right hand. And the other end beats Baycott down the floor after getting beat earlier himself and getting the bucket. The Allen, Rip Hamilton, Mecca Okafor. I mean, just great player after great, great player. Great Yep. We have seen a lot of that. Well, take a look at number 12, Cam Spencer here. They're top locking him to keep him coming for off Alex Caravan. He just cuts right back to the basket. And top locking means just playing on top of him. So it, it forces him the other way. And he so, Hubert Davis has some kids who are pretty excited to play here in the garden. Sandiara has to pick up his dribble. Tristan Newton from way beyond the arc. They put 100 up on Tennessee. Nobody puts 100 up on Tennessee. The Heels had 61 of them in the first half as Newton knocks down a jumper. Cadeau off to Ryan, and he lost it. Solomon a ball in transition, gets the shot off, and it goes. Oh, there's the elbow catch looking at the high-low. Good pass. Ball the lefty, gets it off, and hits again. Well, they were the best of them, couldn't throw it down. Those kind of shots are why he's shooting 75. Oh! oh. But how about getting back to do that at the other end? R.J. Davis asking for a goaltend, but that was on the way up, and so was Samson Johnson. 7.59 to go in the first half and a timeout on the floor. Here comes Samson. It is nice when your defensive pencil has that kind of eraser. Running over eight per game. Uh, UConn's put up huge rebounding numbers so far this season. Newton. Oh, what a pass. Somehow found Caravan. I thought he could have had the angle going to his right, but he spun back to his left. Count the basket and a foul. Like Newton is so good using his body. Jump hook over him. But Ingram can guard multiple positions as well. He can switch off on just about anybody out there. Newton, yes. Newton up top. And there's another dunk for Samson Johnson. That action is so difficult to stop in the middle of the floor. We're Take a look at Samson Johnson here. He's going to come up, set a little slot ball screen, just roll to the basket. Baycock gets a little bit of attention to the ball, got caught in no man's land, couldn't stay connected to Johnson. NBA history, and as you said earlier, Jay, uh, he is determined to bring his Tar Heels back to the New York City area. Spencer gets it back from Johnson. Now the drive, the scoop, and the finish. Fender. Can shoot it from the perimeter, can also post. Diara launches a three. And it's an eight-point lead now for UConn. The miss in the corner. Diara in transition. Lays it in. Oh, what a Euro step. And words exchanged between Spencer and Baycott after Diara has extended the lead to ten. Uh, Baycott was trying to inbound the ball. Bodies got tangled up. Big day for lip readers there. <laughs> we'll leave something to the imagination there, but needless to say, Cam Spencer is uh, fired up. Action, they wrap it. Caravan comes back out. Newton, the floater from the paint will go. Oh.
Paraban gets free and knocks down the three. A really good screen by Samson Johnson. Caravan was wide open underneath. Ball was wide open on the wing, and all of a sudden it's a double-digit lead. The largest lead of the night for the Huskies. Shot clock's almost down. And wow. Spencer knocks it down. And Baycott had to recover out. What a big shot by Cam Spencer. Shot clock at five. Icing that ball screen action, not letting UConn get to it. Wow, another three, this time for Ball. Diara. Caravan, a tough catch, and he'll lay it in. Countdown at 7 Eastern on ESPN and on the app. Spencer. Yes! UConn. Baycott, strong move. But that might have been Castle who got a piece of it. I see Baycott. Yeah, it was Samson Johnson got a piece of that. And then Castle going after from behind, but now guarding Cam Spencer. And Trimble's very athletic and a good defender. Caravan puts it on the deck. Castle up and in. A good job by Baycott and Ingram to corral Tristan Newton. Bling in. Up and in. And that play, not a great free throw shooter. It's a lot easier to shoot after you've made a bucket. They're just not as strong as they needed to be to keep him from getting that shot up. It's a glass for UConn until they secure the ball to take it the other way. Good cut. Caravan the slam, clinging the assist. But unless there's pressure on the ball, you know, Cormac Ryan's at too big of a disadvantage. Caravan again. And Cormac Ryan's had a tough night from beyond the arc. He's yet to make one. He's taken six of them. He can't ask for a better shot. Yeah, and he is a capable shooter. Solomon of all is having himself a night. He can't be the first to leave the floor there. Well, watch Solomon Ball coming down the middle of the floor, and he just jets out to the three-point line, squares himself, and the lefty knocks down. What's that, his third three? Yes. Boy, this trip feels big, doesn't it? Oh, and they turn it over. Newton. Davis getting back, but not in time. And it's back to double figures now for the Huskies. Newton for three. Spencer. Nobody blocked him out. Everybody just turned to watch. Couple of misses near the rim. And Baycott was right there for the stick back. Just overshot the rim. Caravan for two more. And Hubert Davis needs a timeout. He goes. And now he's got R.J. Davis on him inside. Klingen lays it in on a pretty feed from Spencer. Up. Shot clock at seven. Spencer and all alone underneath he finds Caravan. Newton has it and Klingen is just going to dribble it out. The final seconds will tick away and much to the delight of the Huskies fans here in New York, Connecticut beats Carolina.